This is the section of pregnant women who are here for safe delivery. Many of them have been booked for operation because of complications. And they are here looking in faith to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Vous voyez, c'est des femmes qui ont des complications dans sa grossesse. L'homme de Dieu a prié, regardez son visage. Regardez, elle se détend, le ventre bouge, c'est la puissance de Dieu. La guérison, la délivrance s'opère dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. La main invisible de Dieu est en train de restaurer, regardez. The resurrection power of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is walking in the midst of the people. I can see what is happening to this pregnant woman. See what she passed out right there as a man of God stretched out his hand towards her, praying for her in the name of Jesus Christ. A few hours after the powerful prayer that Geneva Amam received in the name of Jesus Christ, news reached Prophet Tibi Joshua that she was at the point of delivery, and on the instruction of God, he went there to declare her free. What you have just watched is the miraculous birth of baby Ezekiel. Mrs. Geneva Amam had come to the Synagogue Church of All Nations with complications in her pregnancy. The doctors had diagnosed a tight cervix for which they had booked her for an operation. Prophet Tibi Joshua prayed for Geneva in the prayer line and immediately her waters broke and she went into labor. A few hours later, Prophet Tibi Joshua went to her at the labor room and spoke a word of prophecy, identifying both the name and the gender of the child, saying, Ezekiel, come out. Instantly, baby Ezekiel was delivered. Emmanuel, my name is Geneva Amman. The problem that brought me to the Synagogue Church of All Nations was the problem of tight cervix, and I was booked for operation and severe BIBP. I was rejected up to two to three hospitals. They said the baby was big, they cannot be able to handle the baby. Because of the high blood pressure, they said they cannot be able to oppress me because the service was tight. No way the baby could come out. And the BP was very high for them to operate on. So my husband now took me down to the Synagogue Church of All Nations, where I was at the emergency section. And the man of God prayed for me. Immediately he touched his leg on my own legs. The water that was holding the baby and making the service to be tight, busted and poured out instantly. And my body was cool and calm. After some time, the labor started and the baby could not come out. Man of God also came and prayed for me and said, Ezekiel, come out instantly. Where the power came from, I couldn't imagine. The baby just came out. All I heard was the cry of a baby. And he's a baby boy. I was shocked. I was surprised. I said, how? How did man of God know that I'm carrying a baby boy? I give God glory. Because the baby is alive, and me, myself, I'm alive, strong and healthy. What man cannot do, God did it through the evil hands of his anointed servant, senior prophet C.B. Joshua. And here you can see me carrying Ezekiel. I thank God for that. I give God all the glory. I'm Mr. Patrick Amman. The woman next to me is my wife, Mrs. Jennifer Amman. The baby is Ezekiel Amman. I ran down to the hospital as early as 4 a.m. in the morning. I noticed that my wife has even become weak and has developed uh, high blood pressure. I know that we needed God's intervention. The hospital objected. I said, keep our load. If God intervened, I can return her to you. Then they allowed us to go. We came here, they arranged my wife. The man of God came and prayed for her. The first time 
the man of God prayed for her. The service opened, the water busted out, and my wife felt cool in her, all her systems. I had peace, I was happy. The man of God came the second time, mentioned the sense of the baby while the baby was in the womb. Ezekiel, three times, and said, Ezekiel, come out. And the boy pushed out immediately and cried. And uh, there was jubilation all everywhere in the church. We give God glory. I thank God for this mercy and favor for my family. Ten years later, Ezekiel came back with his mother to visit the Synagogue Church of All Nations, the place where God had called him out of his mother's womb. Good morning, viewers all over the world. I want to share with you my testimony 10 years ago concerning this, my boy, Ezekiel Aman. When the doctors checked everything about me, they rejected me. So I went to another hospital. When they checked everything about me, they said the service was tight and the high blood pressure, and they can't even refer me to another hospital because no doctor would like to operate somebody with hypertension and the tight service because the high, the high blood pressure was so high. You can imagine that, a pregnant woman. Before then, I've gone to two hospitals. They rejected me before I went to that one. My husband took me to another hospital. When we went there, we faced the same rejection. At that time, I was between life and death. Then, immediately I entered the vehicle, that was all I could remember. How we got to Synagogue Church of All Nations, I didn't know. How I was arranged at the prayer line, I didn't know. It was when the man of God stretched forth his hand and prayed for me that the water holding the baby gushed out. That was when I came back to life. Mrs. Geneva Amam had come to the Synagogue Church of All Nations with complications in her pregnancy. The doctors had diagnosed a tight cervix for which they had booked her for an operation. Prophet T.B. Joshua prayed for Geneva in the prayer line and immediately her waters broke and she went into labor. And then contractions started immediately. I was taken to where I would deliver the baby. You know, as a human being, there was no strength left with me again. I could not do anything again on my own. The man of God had it and came, and as he was praying, he called the name of the baby, Ezekiel, out. Instantly, where the strength came from. I couldn't imagine. The baby came out. A few hours later, Prophet T.B. Joshua went to her at the labor room and spoke a word of prophecy, identifying both the name and the gender of the child. Receive the Be free. Out! Come out! Out! Is it care? And behold, it was a baby boy. When he said, Ezekiel, come out. When I looked at the script and I saw the delivery, how he called the name of the baby, and behold, it was a baby boy. I started asking myself, how did the man of God knew I was carrying a baby boy inside the womb? Because I have never seen him face to face before. We never discussed anything concerning the pregnancy. Even how I was arranged at the prayer line, I didn't know because I was, I would say I was unconscious because I can't even move when I was at the prayer line. It was when the water gushed out that I realized I was in synagogue. So how come the man of God knew I was carrying a baby boy? People of God, you can imagine that. Now he is 10 years old. Since he was born, we have never gone to hospital for one day for any sickness. The grace of God through the life of Prophet T.B. Joshua has been upon him, leading him in all that he does. In his school, he comes first always in his class. The teachers, they all love him because of his uh, behavior in school. So when you see him, you see that truly he's a prophetic child. He reads his Bible. He always talks about God. Anything he do, you see him calling Jesus, calling God. At times he will call his mates. He will tell them how he was born because I always tell him, look at how you are born. Remember to follow the way of the Lord. Don't go away from God, because without him, you wouldn't have been alive. So I want to praise God. I want to thank God for that. I want to thank God for Prophet T.B. Joshua, 
for him to make himself available for God to use for this our generation. Remember one of his quotes, he said, if millions of this generation are to believe, they must see proof that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. You can see my boy here. He is one of the proofs that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Now I want to advise expectant mothers all over the world, those that are watching me right now, please believe God, trust in him. If he can do this for me, I tell you there is nothing he cannot do for you. My name is Ezekiel Amam. I'm 10 years old. I am in grade 6. I always confess in my class. My favorite subject is English and social studies. My hobbies are being electronics and studying the word of God. My mother has said it all of how God delivered me and saved me through the life of our prophet, Senior Prophet Tibi Joshua. I thank God for him. Since I was born, I've never been taken to the hospital. I've always been healthy and obedient. And she has always been reading the Bible for me and taking me to the word of God, but I sat and she never run away from me. Whenever I remember of how my mother told me of how I was born, I always feel happy, excited that God loved me so much. My advice to the young people like me who have watched my testimony is that they should always obey their parents and they should not run away from God. Thank you. 